Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. A bunch of rich people on a forum discussing the best ways to abduct children. People used to take pictures of drugs for a local Silk Road dealer. I was over his house once and he was testing out some onion links, and he suddenly said oh my god, look at this. It was a site where a guy in America would have sex with the corpses of dead animals, and post his experiences with graphic pictures and descriptions. If you scrolled a bit further you saw he moved on to humans. I walked away from the computer pretty quickly. A hitman site. No idea if it was a scam, I'd be willing to bet they just take the money and run, but I noped out quick anyway. It was like you pay them the equivalent of $5,000 upfront in Bitcoin, and they kill someone of your choosing, and cover it up and you pay the rest later. Scary as hell. While randomly clicking around tour one night I found a site with a riddle and a text box to enter an answer, after figuring it out it took me to another page that had a message to decode in another text box. Basically every page was a puzzle and got harder every time, I was 15 and not very smart with those kinds of things so I found a forum where other people had discovered the site and were talking about it. Apparently on the final page it just displayed a date and a quote from Alice in Wonderland. I believe it was just a site made to be some sort of entertainment for very experienced decoders and programmers but there was speculation that it was a hacker recruiting site, similar to Cicada 3301, either way, it creeped me out a lot. I got really curious one weekend and set out to see what's been being kept from me. It's both full of interesting and dark things, but it's mostly stuff I don't want to be a part of. Some things I had ran across or found sites for were Drugs, weapons and counterfeit money deliveries A hitman who only took cryptocurrencies and would only do adults, I didn't see prices, but he said it could take around a month for him to find and execute in a safe way for him. He said he'd prefer you don't do people you know though. But like What's the point then? There was quite a bit about if you really want him to do a kid it's gotta be for a specific reason and usually you'd have to pay for the parent as well, but that just seemed to be like I don't want to, but if you need it, give me a ton of money, a credit card swapping website, and a credit card buying website. Counterfeit pay card website, this is the one that got me the most interested, essentially they use spoofing and stolen credit card numbers to buy or fake a bunch of prepaid pay cards then they sell those at like 60% the value or something. I couldn't verify the validity of it. Porn of all kinds. It's not really something you can stumble into though, typically the direct links are pretty hidden. I didn't go looking for it but you get a sense of where you can ask for what. A nude trading repository, like what the fappening was referring to. You essentially trade famous unleaked nudes for others. I had nothing so it was essentially a strange Craigslist of like, I need pics of person X. I have pics of person Y and person K unleaked, I can trade. A guy who you tell something you want, and he'd go steal it from a store and sell it to you for like half the cost. It's an interesting business. Human trafficking. I never went to the sites but I found a link to one. I just assumed it was something I wouldn't want to see and didn't bother fact checking. Basically unless you're a depraved person it's a huge waste of time, and a glimpse into the worst part of people. Someone showed me this website that was like a stream feed aggregation on these pages, and there were hundreds of pages and each page had probably 50 streams on it. They were all feeds from do-it-yourself security cameras that people have in their homes that back up to the cloud. So crazy to see. These people probably have no idea. I remember a long time ago there was a guy online that was trying to buy large quantities of bed bugs. When questioned why he wanted them, he basically said that he wanted to try to breed them to be resistant to normal methods of killing them, while simultaneously breeding in a weakness that only he knew. This way he could release them in people's houses and then force them to pay him to get rid of the bed bugs, since no one else would be able to kill them. My own password. Found a chan that had a link to a website that when you put in an email address, it would show you the password and plain text if that email address had been pwned. Typed in one of my old, now closed, emails. And there it was. Just a blank page with my email address and password on it, sitting right there for anybody to find. The scariest thing I saw was stolen credit cards or other identity theft items. Stuff that made it very easy to assume another person's identity. Things like child porn, torture videos, etc. are generally either fake stories or so hidden away that you wouldn't just accidentally stumble upon it. There are lots of easily available drugs, logins to websites, guns and weapons, though I'm confident most of those are honeypots. Back in 2015 with the Charleston shooting, 
There were many news reports on Dylan Roof's white supremacist website and the pictures that he posted. Being oddly curious, I decided to check it out. Since the website was already taken down in wake of the incident, I had to use Wayback Machine. However, all of the caches of the website lead to a photo of an unconscious man lying on the floor with blood spilling out of his head. I found none of the pictures shown in the news reports dedicated to sharing insider trading tips. This way you could make investments that wouldn't be obvious insider trading because you wouldn't be linked to the company involved. However part of the registration process was that you had to submit a tip that turned out correct. I wandered around in the dark stuff about 10 years ago. Worst I saw was basically the Super Adventure Club from South Park. A bunch of rich people on a forum discussing the best ways to abduct children from different parts of the world, the different kinds of kids they owned, how to keep them hidden and healthy, how young is too young for different sex acts, etc. Made me depressed for a few months, and I was pretty messed up for a few years after. I removed Tor from my computer that day and haven't installed it since. I'm happier not knowing how awful humanity can be. I've seen the bad stuff. But the worst was probably a group of people who try to infect others with HIV. Noped out of that pretty quick. It was people bragging and showing pictures of infected needles in hidden places. And people who lied on tests and had one night stands and people cheering. Messed up beyond belief. There was this deep forum I somehow stumbled upon. It had extremely messed up people. By messed up I mean psychologically. There were people with suicidal tendencies. There were people telling them that nothing matters and suggesting different ways to suicide. There was this section dedicated to seducing family members for incest. I remember reading a dude's post saying that he's having feeling for his real sister. He tried a lot but she rejected him calling him crazy. He killed his sister. He then committed suicide because he couldn't take it. This made it to news and gave me shudders. I was incognito so had no history. I couldn't find that site again after that the way I did before. When I was about 12 to 13, I used to browse through Tor all night and just scroll through whatever my naive butt could find. Aside from the usual gore and CP that was floating around, I saw this one page that still haunts me now. This guy ran an animal sanctuary out in Colorado with a bunch of different exotic animals. He would essentially rent them out to people who were into bestiality. Some of those animals looked so miserable, malnourished and chained up in the photos. I didn't even know what to do with that info at that age and just remember having nightmares about those animals. A friend of mine went digging and found a video of someone cutting a face from someone off his head and used it as a mask, those are the type of videos that make me sick as hell. So this may seem like a nebulous answer, but the real scary stuff are the portals. By that I mean little doors hidden from everyone except the people who know that they are looking for. Seemingly innocuous sites that have clues hidden in the page source or seemingly innocent image galleries containing images that have audio clues or other things embedded in the code that have to be extracted through specific means. When I was in college, the guy who got me into computers used to show me the ones he had cracked. One of them led to a PDF that was a copy of the original Anarchist's cookbook, first edition, before it was heavily edited and stripped down. It had stuff in there including detailed chemical breakdowns of military-grade explosives, way deeper than just your typical this is how you build a weapon stuff. There were other, more sinister portals too. There was one that just led to a chat room he showed me that was some kind of ultra occult LARPing stuff, except they would share ASCII image scans of super messed up things, like snuff level violence, that you could really only see if you copy pasted the code into a word editor and scaled it a certain way. Lots of bizarre, hacker wizardry and some of it is creepy as hell. A lot of what I found was repositories of semi-sketchy information like various, extremely specific ways of human torture and signs of when to stop so the person doesn't die. Extremely detailed lists of materials to buy to create bombs and how to wire them up for remote, cell phone, detonation, and just odd sexual books. Each was kind of its own topic and repository, like one for torture, one for explosives, one for sex. I didn't venture into any of the porn sites on the dark web, I can find what I need on the regular web. One interesting, not really scary site I found was, found MacBook Pros of that year, the website claimed to have a couple hundred of them for like $300. They had a picture showing like 5 to 6 powered up, with a pile of them behind. Likely a scam, but you never know. Another interesting one was someone was selling two clocks with their serial numbers removed, for like $2,000. Oh and people advertised to be hitmen semi-regularly. Some specialized in highly influential people, 
charging $50,000 upfront and $50,000 after. I didn't really do much on there, so I'd take the legitimacy of all of those services with a grain of salt. My time on the deep web was exploratory and just for curiosity. My buddy, seriously my buddy, and not me, can attest to buying drugs off of the dark web though, he'd buy pills cheap on there, and then sell it on his college campus for huge profits. By far the scariest and darkest thing was the hurtcore sites. Hurtcore is a fetish for people who get aroused by the infliction of pain, or even torture, on another person who is not a willing participant. Although it can apply to animals, adults or children, the hurtcore sites on the dark web tend to be almost exclusively a subset of the pedophile sites. It can be so sadistic that even most pedophiles are repulsed by it. Videos and photos generally come out of poverty-stricken countries, but the market is worldwide. Google people like Peter Scully, Matthew Graham and Matthew Falder to get an idea of what lurks in the murkiest depths. This one's my personal worst. It doesn't sound scary but I found it in, like, 10th grade and it messed me up. Some lady posted all this videos of her dancing with this corpse. Man, I think? All rigid, caked up but like. A corpse. She put on weird music and danced around and sang to it in her room. There was a few videos about it. Some had more close-up details than others. It was so unnerving to look at. Had it propped up against the wall in the room. It was just. Messed up. It was literally an old rotting body with a cheap wig on it. The lighting was low and shaky and whatnot. But, it wasn't a proper horror video because it had like 5 views and got taken down about a year later, all the other videos on her channel were her. There were some weird symbols around her messy room, but nothing decipherable like a pentagram or anything right off the bat edgy. Just. Weird. Her singing creeped me the hell out. It wasn't intentionally creepy, like, not a slowed down nursery rhyme or anything, it was bouncy and fun but just. So weird. Was some kinda of love song to the corpse. She had several videos of her and him, dancing in different places of her house. Was a normal looking low income American style house. Weird as hell. I don't know. It just stood out to me for being creepy but genuine. God this was like over 8 years ago, downloaded tour out of curiosity to surf the dark web. After entering and scrolling through the initial pages for drugs, legit US passports or at least they claimed, Silk Road, I got to a page that was like a crowdfunding website, except it's for hitmen. It seemed like people can post names of individuals they want to put a hit on, then crowdfunding begins, once it reaches a certain amount, I remember it was 60k, but my memory is hazy, then a timer would appear underneath that person's page, which I assume was the time allotted for the hitman to do his job. The names are sorted from top to bottom by order of which individual's funding page is closest to their goal. Thanks for listening to Radio TTS, hit the subscribe button.